up, shall we begin? Let's begin now. I'm here at New York Comic Con and I'm going to be interviewing these cosplayers. So the first question is, who are you cosplaying as? I'm Pokemon. Pokemon. And what about you? Captain Spider-Man. Captain Spider-Man. So, what inspired you to make these cosplays? I like Spider-Man and Captain Spider-Man is something that you don't see very frequently, especially just the picking of Batman all the pattern and the colors and everything. So I knew if I'm going to come to a large venue and a large event that a lot of people are going to be dressed up, it's very rare that I'll see somebody who's wearing the exact same thing on the radar. And I wanted to go with something that was recognizable at the same time I can make it my own. So it's not traditional Pocahontas that everyone knows, but it's still close enough that people kind of get it. Um, or they just kind of see where I'm going with it and they can get an idea. So it may not be Pocahontas, but they'll still say, hey, that's a Native American. It's close so how many comic cons have you guys gone to? This year? <laughs> Uh, well, this year in the beginning, I was going to one just about every weekend. And then after a while, I guess I was getting kind of burned out. So now I kind of slowed down and started going only to the bigger ones. I was going to ones in libraries, in colleges, on the campus. You know, just about anywhere that they can have them. If it's a, a pool or whatever, I was going to one. Because, you know, cosplaying and cons are becoming so popular that you're seeing them popping up everywhere. So I'm just, you know, searching for whatever excuse I can find to get dressed up in costume and bring smiles to people's faces. But after a while, it gets kind of tiring and I don't know if I'm going to keep it up. And I meet a lot of other people who are also possible and also think of the same thing. Like, is it really worth all this effort and trouble? So some of these cameras are getting a little turned off to it right now. We've been planning our third or fourth New York Comic Con. So when we had come the first time, you can actually walk and breathe down the aisles. And now uh, we wanted to come and buy a few things, but it gets to the point where you're just trying to get from one point to the next and just get out of people's way. So it becomes so hard to actually take a second and actually look at things and merchandise. And especially now that this is so popular, we used to be able to just walk into a panel and take a seat and walk. And now you have to wait online to wait on another line to see something. So with all the popularity, it's just getting a little too big that it kind of takes Okay, well thank you for doing this.